In the 12 years that the law has existed granting Kenyans the ability to use up to 60% of their accrued retirement benefits as a guarantee for mortgage loans, less than 0.1% of members of retirement benefit schemes have taken advantage of the facility. Here's Alex Wangi with more on the status of pension-backed mortgages. The level of home ownership in a country provides a measure of the well-being of a nation. In Kenya, there are two ways to help one secure a mortgage for a residential house based on their accrued retirement benefits. The first is by assigning up to a maximum of 60% of their accumulated benefits as a guarantee for purposes of acquiring a mortgage loan, this having come into effect in 2009. Despite existing for more than a decade, less than 0.1% of members have utilized this facility according to a survey undertaken by the Retirement Benefits Authority to assess the uptake of pension-backed mortgages. The reasons why include high property prices, high interest rates on mortgage loans, insufficient accrued pension benefits, low awareness levels on the facility, and reluctance from mortgage financiers. Secondly, members of retirement benefit schemes can utilize up to 40% of their accrued benefits or 7 million shillings, whichever is lower, to purchase a residential house from an institution. This came into effect in 2020. A survey done last year indicated that only 2% of members had attempted to access this facility. 68% of respondents indicated a willingness to access a portion of their retirement savings for house purchase. This according to the Retirement Benefits Authority. Besides pension-backed mortgages, what other policies or measures do you think should be instituted in order to enhance the uptake of mortgages in the country? We need to ease a bit in taxation. So right now, when you apply your 40% through pension, it's still subject to tax. So there is absolutely no need to tax pensioners, especially when you look at it that their PYE is being taxed, their income at payroll is being taxed. So we need to enhance a little bit of um, tax exemptions uh, for savings to us retirement. Does Kenya have a conducive environment for people with irregular incomes to access mortgages? In uh, the budget last year, there was uh, a mention of development of a micro-pension policy to be able to address the necessities of savings for the informal sector because it accounts to a huge uh, segment of the population. Uh, and the necessity for housing uh, remains as uh, high not only to the high end but also to the low end of the income earners. According to RBA, the Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company has been able to loan 7 billion shillings to primary mortgage lenders at an interest rate of 5% to boost their liquidity. Alex Mwangi, NTV.